And here we are. The NFL's back, baby. It's wild. It's crazy, right? I know. The 2022 season is here. And we're about an hour or so away from the time of this recording. And by the time most of you will probably see this, you know, hopefully within the hour before the first game of the year kicks off. It's going to be one hell of a season once again. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, I don't think anybody could predict it last year because 2021 was such a wild season. And I'm expecting the same thing in 2022. You know, genuinely, you know, there are going to be surprises as, you know, it's been a long off season. There, there's going to be a lot of surprises about everything. I mean, let's start with the game that's on tonight. The Bills taking on the Rams. You have the preseason favorite to win the Super Bowl, the Buffalo Bills, by Josh Allen. You know, and then you have the defending champs: Sean McVay, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, uh, Aaron Dom. I mean, the whole crew for the LA Rams are, are they're, they're here. This is gonna this is gonna be one hell of a game to open up the season. Let me tell you that right now. And you know the Bills, they got they gotta get it. They gotta get over the hump this year. They gotta get over the hump. And you know the Rams, we know what they're capable of. This is gonna be one hell of a game, a hard hitting one. And I won't be surprised if we see these two teams again in the Super Bowl. I, I like if this happens. If it happens, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy thing to see. You know. That this will be the first and the last matchup of the year, but I'm not predicting that. I I, I don't I don't I don't I don't know how the season's gonna go. To be completely honest with you, I'm surprised a lot of people are picking the Bills to win the Super Bowl, which is crazy to me. But it is what it is, you know. Philadelphia's taking on Detroit. A lot of people are picking Philadelphia to be a playoff team, and I I don't know about all that just yet. You know, you got Jalen Hurts, the company, going up against. Dan Campbell's Detroit Lions in Detroit. You know, Detroit is definitely an improving team. Philadelphia, you know, again, trendy pick to win the NFC East. Who knows if they're actually going to do it, though? Uh, they, you know, the Eagles, they, they, they went to the playoffs last year. Uh, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything special. You know, nothing special. It is what it is. We'll see what they can do. I mean, I haven't looked at the roster for the Eagles at all. Uh, I'll tell you that much. You know, Detroit still has Jared Goff. I mean, come on. It is what it is there. Uh, the 49ers and the Bears. This one's going to be rough to look at. You got Trey Lance versus Justin Fields. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If, you know, the whole Jimmy Garoppolo thing kind of messed things up for the 49ers this offseason. At least Debo got paid. At least Debo got paid. And then you have the runners up, you know, the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm going to be watching this game as the Mitchell Trubisky era. I know. It's, it's, it's hard to say that off, straight off the top. Mitchell Trubisky starting for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to go, man. Cincinnati, they brought a lot of their guys back. You know, Burrow, you know. You know, Jamar Chase, I mean, the, the whole nine yards with the Cincinnati Bengals team, and they're looking to run it back, go right back to the Super Bowl, you know. And I think, you know, Pittsburgh, they got a, they got, they got a lot of stuff to improve on now that Big Ben is gone, and this could be an interesting phase for them. So we'll see what they could do. A lot of people are doubting Tua Takabailoa in Miami, and I kind of agree with them. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree with them. You know, when you have the hoodie, Bill Belichick, and the Patriots coming up to Miami and, and getting ready to, you know, have a good old matchup with you, you know, you got to prepare yourself. You know, you got to ask the tough questions. Is two of the answer? Is two of the answer? Ask it three times. Is two of the answer down in Miami? We'll see. We will see, man. Um, the Cleveland Browns are taking on Carolina. Baker Mayfield will be starting for the Panthers. Jacoby Brissett will be starting for the Browns. The Browns aren't that team that they were from 
you know, the past couple years anymore. Uh, I think this team, you know, especially now that Sean Watson has been rightfully suspended for 11 games. It should be a whole season, but 11 games, it, it is what it is. Uh, this is going to be, this could be some huge revenge for Carolina, you know, or rather for Baker Mayfield at least, not for Carolina, but for Baker Mayfield at the way he was treated, you know, at the end of his tenure in Cleveland, you know. Because, I mean, Mans was, you know, Mans was definitely not getting his fair shake out there in Cleveland. Got blamed for a lot of things that were wrong out there. And Cleveland could be back in the gutter, you know. It's it, it, like, just like that. That's just how quick the NFL can turn on you. That's, that's how quick the turnover can be in the NFL, you know. Things can turn on you in a second. If Indianapolis taking on Houston, I have no idea why Matt Ryan is starting. I, I get it because Carson Wentz is in Washington, but I mean, Matt Ryan, old man Matt Ryan, taking on the Houston Texans. And I mean, the Texans—they're still—they're still rebuilding, man. This is the, like Houston fans. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta be, y'all gotta be feeling something right now. Let me tell you that. Right, let me tell you that much right now, man. I think it's going to be another long season for Texas, man. You know, especially when Deshaun Watson actually comes back against Houston, which is some sort of karma. Like it, this, this has got to be some sort of a, uh, some type of egregious offense against the Texans, man. They do not deserve this. They, 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 they've, they've had it rough for a couple seasons now. I think it's going to be another rough one for them. You know, you, you, you do have, you know, for Atlanta. Speaking of Atlanta. You know, you do have Kyle Pitts coming back. You know, Jameis Winston's going to be back for the Saints. And the Saints are going to be looking to rebound at the last season. Atlanta, as long as they aren't, you know, choking the game away, it's seemingly every game this year, Atlanta should be in a rebuilding phase themselves without Matt Ryan. And I believe Marcus Mariota is going to be the starter, which is also weird. I mean, Mariota has done absolutely nothing in the NFL so far, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Baltimore is going to be, you know, looking for, you know, a better season than what they had last year. You know, Lamar Jackson and company are back. They and Hopefully the Ravens continue to excite like they did last year. New York is trotting out old man Joe Flacco out there. Past this prime Joe Flacco. He's not elite Joe Flacco. And, I mean, the Jets, they're also pretty banged up from what I can tell. I do think there were some injuries that were, uh, you know, talked about and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is there. Um, I don't expect anything from this game because, I mean, it's the Jets. The, being a Jets fan is pain enough. You got Jacksonville going up against Washington. You know, Trevor Lawrence. You know, hopefully the Mans can actually, you know, get something, you know, done this year. You know, now that you have Carson Wentz for Washington, you know, you never know what Washington's going to do. Dan Schneider has been doing fuck all. He's been doing all sorts of different stupid things instead of repairing that damn stadium out there in Landover and actually, you know, giving up his ownership. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but Washington, I do not expect anything from this Washington team. Come on now. This is the Washington you know, the, the, the Washington Commanders. It still feels weird calling them the Commanders, but, I mean, it's better than the football team, I guess. And, you know, Jacksonville, hopefully the stain from Urban Meyer being head coach does not last much longer because, I mean, you know, they're, they're, I mean, the Jags were just unlucky last year, man. They were very unlucky. They There were some things that were just totally wrong. The culture was just not there. And, you know, hopefully they can improve this season. You know, I'm not expecting either of these two teams to go anywhere in the playoffs. But, I mean, some, something, something's got to give. Then you got the reigning MVP as we get to the later games on Sunday. You know, Green Bay taking on Minnesota. You know, you got Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook and everybody from Minnesota back. And, you know, Green Bay looking to just, you know, do something. They got, they they got to have some wide receivers out there. They better have some wide receivers out there for Aaron Rodgers to throw to as he's the reigning MVP. And uh, this one, 
this one's interesting. This one's interesting. You know, it, you know, Kirk Cousins is consistent. Aaron Rodgers, you know, and company on the Packers, they want to actually, you know, win the big game this time, but they keep choking it away. And, I mean, these could be two teams that, you know, we, we could be seeing, you know, down the line in, in January and February. Well, j at least January. I wouldn't say February. Because, I mean, you know, this is the Packers we're talking about here. Uh, the Giants... Daniel Jones and company. I mean, what what else can you say about the Giants that hasn't already been said? It's the Giants. You know, Derrick Henry might run all over them. You know, <laughs> they might, might run all over. You know, the Titans will. The Raiders, the Chargers, that one's going to be real interesting. Khalil Mack and, and, you know, company out there. Justin Herbert and this, you know, Chargers crew going up against Derrick Carr, Devontae Adams. Carr and Adams are were old teammates, you know, back at, you know, you know, back in college, and I mean the Raiders and Chargers, you know, gave us they gave us a couple of good games last year, I think. And I, man, I can't remember games off the top of my head from last year, but the Raiders and the Chargers, this is gonna be fun, you know. These two teams are definitely in the mix for the playoffs this year, definitely in the mix. And then you know one of the big ones, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, you know. No Tyreek Hill anymore. He's gone. Kyler Murray's got a big contract extension in the offseason. And we'll see if Cliff Kingsbury and company can actually get over the hump and do something this year. I mean, Arizona has got to do something this year. This is a team that has to make a splash this year. You know, you got Kyler Murray back. He's he's should be, you know, satiated for a hot minute. So that means Arizona's got some things to prove. They got to do something. Tampa Bay's taking on the Dallas Cowboys. My Dallas Cowboys. You know, Mike McCarthy's got Dak Prescott, Zeke Elliott, and the whole crew on the Cowboys ready. As, you know, Tom Brady, he's back. No, no Gronk, though. And, I mean, the Buccaneers, I mean, this is definitely, you know, I don't think this is the same team. You know, that won the Super Bowl a couple years ago, but the Buccaneers, you know, under Tom Brady, you know, just under Tom Brady in general, you know, it's still going to be a tough out. And I don't think, I don't think the boys have ever beaten Brady, you know, I don't think they've ever beaten Brady. Yeah, they haven't. They haven't beaten Brady, unless I'm mistaken something. I don't think they have. Like, in all my years of watching the NFL, I don't think they beat Brady. Will that change on Sunday night? I don't know. There's questions surrounding the running back situation in Dallas. I can't tell you. It, it, I'll, I'll say my piece, and I'll say that it should be Pollard over Zeke. I think Zeke, you know, it's kind of it's kind of wearing thin. But I mean, Zeke, he's still a, he's still a big featured guy. So I mean, give them both the ball, man. Give them both the ball. And then Monday night, Russell Wilson comes back to Seattle as. Uh, who the hell is starting for Seattle? Is it Drew Locke or is it Geno Smith? I mean, I don't know and I don't care because, I mean, Seattle, Seattle's looking to, they're, they're probably going to be rebuilding, man. I mean, I know, I think Chris Carson retired in the offseason. Uh, one of the Griffins retired in the offseason too, I think, or he got injured or something like that. I cannot remember for, for the life of me, but, I mean, you get what I'm saying here. Seattle is in for a rebuild. No Russell Wilson to save you anymore. He's on Denver. And, I mean, this Denver team, they they got to do something themselves. You know, John Elway ain't going to be sitting here forever, you know, trying to figure out what in the world's gone wrong. They want results. Elway and the brass up in Denver want results, and they better get them this year. So there you go. That's my thoughts on week one in general. I don't really have much to say because I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what in the hell is going on. Because, I mean, there's a whole lot of roster changes, a whole lot of free agent sightings. You the free agency. Uh, I did a video way back when, back in like April, May, talking about how the free agency, like at the beginning, was insane. And it continued to escalate throughout the off season. And I'll, I'll say, you know, some other things. I don't know who's going to win the Super Bowl this year. I really don't. I do not want to predict who's going to win the Super Bowl. Because if I do predict who's going to win the Super Bowl at this moment, I'm probably going to be completely wrong. And it's probably going to be, you know, 
a completely you know insane argument and it it won't it just won't fit you know the narrative of you know have i been looking at rosters and stuff like that right now and the answer is probably not i have not been looking at rosters anything like that hell uh, i didn't even I, hell i was supposed to make notes and i didn't make any notes for this but it is what it is i'll i'll try at a later date <laughs> Uh, I know a lot of guys on defense. You know, I left out a bunch of key guys on defense. Because I mean, I just don't. I just don't know. You know, man. Like everybody has signed at different places. I mean, the power of parity in the NFL. You really don't. You really don't know what's going to happen. So let's sit back and enjoy the carnage as we get prepared for the feast. Two hundred and seventy-two games. 18 weeks, let's feast. Dig in. Are you ready to feast? Because I know I am. I'll see you all on Monday to talk, you know, recapping what happened in week one. Take care.